you can start running encounters in Albert Rodeo in under 10 minutes. Here's how. We'll show you how to create an account in a room, create a scene, add your own images, build an encounter, and add optional extensions. Before you start, you'll need to have an active internet connection to albear.rodeo, and you'll need to spend around 10 minutes to complete this whole guide. Albear Rodeo is a virtual tabletop designed to be intuitive and feature-rich. It works completely within a web browser, so you don't need to download any extra software. The app is also responsive, so it works across both mobile and desktop operating systems. Albear Rodeo's main focus is providing a great battle map experience. This includes sharing maps, tokens and other images. We also provide robust drawing, text and fog tools that make it easy to replicate a physical tabletop. We know that every table is different, so we also offer an easy way to customise Albear Rodeo. With deep support for extensions, you can adapt Albear Rodeo to how you like to play and to add game-specific features. The following guide is designed for a game master. If you're a player, all you need to do is open the link sent to you by your GM, enter your name and click Ask to Join, and they will admit you to their room. When you enter that room, you will see the player view and will have access to the tools and features that the GM has chosen for you. First, let's create an account and a room. To get started with Albear Rodeo, you must first create an account. Head to our Play Free page and use your Google or Apple account or your email. Your players only need to create an account if they want to bring their own character token or other image assets to add to your scenes. You'll be sent a one-time sign-up code to that address, which you will need to enter here to confirm that you can access that email account. Next, you'll be prompted for a password. We recommend that you add one, as it will save you from having to enter a temporary sign-in code each time you log in. Once you've logged in, you will see your new profile page. Within Albear Rodeo, a room connects you and your players together in the same virtual space. Create a room in the profile page by using the Create a New Room button. With our free account, you can use the dice buttons to roll for a different randomised room name and room background image until you find something you like. You can create two persistent rooms, allowing you to share one with your players for your game sessions and still keep the other one private for your game prep. When you buy an upgraded subscription, you can have custom room names and backdrops, along with more concurrent rooms, more asset storage and also support for larger files. Next, let's create a scene. A scene is an infinite space for you to lay out images, drawings, fog of war, and more, intended to represent a location where some kind of encounter might happen. You can create many scenes and quickly swap between them within your room as needed. To create your first scene, open the Asset Manager using its button on the right side of the dock. With the Scenes tab selected, you can create a scene by clicking on the Add button in the top right corner. When creating a new scene, you can use one of the starter set maps to get you up and running as quickly as possible. Clicking on the Basic Maps option will allow you to use a simple, tileable battle mat to get going quickly. Select the Road Map and click Add Selected in the bottom right to add that scene to your account. Note that the starter set assets do not use any of your cloud storage quota. Similarly, to create a new scene from your own map, you can select the New tab, choose your map image and upload it. In the Scene Importer, you can also choose the initial grid, measurement and fog settings for this new scene, although you can edit these later if needed. Once the new scene is shown in the Asset Manager, you can click on its Open button to load it into your room. Now let's add images to your scene. To add images to your scene, you can use the dock at the bottom edge of your room. The dock is split into a tab for each image type, maps, props, mounts, characters, attachments and notes, each of which correspond to a different layer of the scene's canvas. Switch to the Characters tab and open the Asset Manager once again. Click the Add button in the top right to add more character tokens. Click the Characters and Monsters starter set and select the tokens you would like, or select Add All to add everything. You can add your own tokens and other images through the Asset Manager like this, or just drag them into your scene and decide which layer they occupy, and they'll be added to your dock too. These newly imported images will be uploaded to your cloud storage account in the background. 
Back in the scene, you can now drag and drop a goblin token from your dock. And after selecting it in the scene, you can hide it so that your players won't see where it's placed until you reveal it. Now we can build an encounter. To identify our goblin token, we can give it a label. Select that token by clicking on it, then click the Edit Text button. Type the name Goblin1, then click the Done button. To make this encounter more lively and challenging, you can click the Duplicate button a few times. This will create some cloned goblin tokens and will also automatically increment the label number for you to speed up differentiating between them. You can now move these goblins to wherever you want them, simply by dragging and dropping them into position. You could also add more tokens by dropping them from the dock into the scene. Then, when you're ready to spring the ambush, you can multi-select the goblins by holding the shift key while clicking them, or on a touchscreen device you can use the lasso tool to encircle them. Then click the show button to reveal all of them to your players at once. Finally, let's add extensions and invite our players. Albert Rodeo has a vibrant ecosystem of extensions, allowing you to customise its feature set and your gaming experience. To add a new extension, you can open the Extras menu in the bottom left corner of your room. Clicking on the Extensions menu item will open the Extensions Manager. To add a new extension, click the All Extensions button. This will allow you to view the list of published extensions in the store. To roll some dice, add the Dice extension by Albert Rodeo to your account. You can then enable the extension in this room by sliding the toggle switch into its on position. Different rooms can have different extensions enabled in them, but in this room we'll stick with the dice and the initiative tracker extensions. The dice extension adds a dice action in the top left corner of the room, which will display a dice tray when you open it. You can also drag this action to a different position on the screen if you want to have another extension open at the same time, like the initiative tracker. If an extension has functionality that's available to your players, they can access it through their own extension action. We're now ready to invite your players to your room by simply sending them the link. You can either copy it from your browser's URL bar, or you can click the Invite Players button in the player list, and then share that link via your preferred messaging service. Once the player opens this link, they can name themselves and request to join your room. When you accept their request, you will see them appear in the player list so that you know who's present. You can also start adding fog, drawings, text, notes, and more. Changes within the scene are saved to your account constantly in the background while you prep and while you play. Your players can also use some of these features if you give them those permissions. Players will only see the tools and features that you have granted to them. All the others will be hidden from them to keep their interface as simple as possible. When you're ready to switch to your next scene, you can simply drag it into your room from the Scenes tab on the dock and it will load for you and your players replacing the scene that you finished. And that's it! You are now ready to start running encounters for your players. Albert Rodeo has a lot more to offer than the basics shown here, so feel free to continue exploring these guides on our YouTube channel. See the description for links to our tips and tricks and how-to playlists.